In 2008, the Moore family started sending care packages to their brother stationed in Iraq. The effort grew to include his fellow soldiers and local people in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today, over 53,000 packages have been sent by Moore Mart, the affectionate nickname for this grassroots effort. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. Paul Moore, co-founder of Moore Mart, joins me. Welcome to the program, Paul. So how did the idea of Moore Mart come about? And you have to tell the story about how the nickname originated. Well, back in 2004, my younger bro brother Brian uh, was deployed with the New Hampshire National Guard to Iraq. At that point, my sister Carol and I wanted to do something to help support not only him, but his unit, the men and women that he served, uh, stationed with. So we started sending care packages over to Iraq. Well, the word got out in the unit that if you needed something, just send Paul or Carol an email. Hmm. Well, we went from sending four or five care packages a month, all of a sudden it blossomed to 40. Next thing you know, it's 100. Wow. Well, word got out that if you needed a you know, hard to find item, mm -hmm. if you notified us via email, you'd get it in about two weeks. Well, next thing you know, the emails stopped coming in from, or to Paul and Carol, to Mormart. So at that point, well, Where did Mormart come from? Right. So we sent an email back saying, why more Mart? And they said, well, we had a vote and we've decided that you have more supplies than Walmart. <laughs> that is great. That is a great way to come up with a name. Now tell us about the packages. What things are you sending? Well, we have a basic packing list, which includes everything from um, socks to, um, uh, say, powder, depending mm -hmm. on what they want, uh, to nactin. Um, there's a number of uh, comfort items, everything from, it can be, s'mores mm -hmm. as an example depending yeah. on the time of year if it's christmas time it could be christmas candy but um we focus on items that they would not be able to uh, pick up in the local economy like girl right. scout cookies right. uh twizzlers um hard candy those things that make you feel like you're close to home power bars exactly okay now where do these supplies and items come from well jenny they're uh, donated by the when i say the public i mean this is truly a grassroots um you know community effort we have uh, not only friends of ours but you know, uh, churches, civic organizations, veterans organizations that have answered the call. We send out an email, we're looking for, you know, say X, Y, and Z, and uh, next thing you know, it, it shows up. Well, and it has really grown and it's expanded clearly well beyond a family effort. So how do you bring the whole community together to be involved with this? Who can be involved? Anybody. And that's one thing that we're particularly proud of. We make a concerted effort to make sure that during our packing events, that we have the whole spectrum from children uh, to seniors. And we tailor our events to make sure that, the, that if you have children that they have something constructed to do. As an example with our seniors, we'll take um, socks over to the senior center so they can roll them and so, so there's something for everybody to do. I also want to mention that you're extending your efforts to provide yeah. supplies to the local people yes. in the areas of deployment. So why did you decide to do that? Well, we've received a number of requests from members of the New Hampshire National Guard relative to supporting local causes. As an example, um, starting or supplying a school, a clinic, uh, an orphanage, starting a soccer program. And uh, we only have two requirements. If we're contacted and somebody would like to, to get involved in a project, they have to take personal responsibility for it. And second, they have to make sure that women are allowed to participate. Well, what a wonderful organization, Paul. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about it with us today. And for people that want more information, it's moremart.org. Yes. Thank you for watching this week's Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.